Hey everybody, thank you so much for coming back. This is now episode 3 in my Kerbal Space Program 1.1 Career Mode playthrough. I uh, hope you're enjoying it so far. Um, this episode, we are going to be hauling drogue chutes into flight above Kerbin, but the most exciting thing, the most exciting thing, is we're going to be escaping the atmosphere. So we must choose our Kerbinaut who's going to do that. It has to be Jebediah, doesn't it? has to be. Now I think I can achieve this contract of the sh drogue chutes just by hauling them, I think. As long as I'm at the right speed and the right altitude, maybe I need to right click them and test them, I'm not 100% sure, but we can definitely escape the atmosphere and because we're going to be doing that, I'm taking along the Science Junior and the Mystery Goose so that we can get some valuable science. Now once we get up into the atmosphere, we're not actually out of the atmosphere, sorry, we're not actually going to be able to um, EVA Jebediah, we need to upgrade our astronaut complex to do that. So away we go, off we go. Now, don't forget, if you're doing this and you're playing along with me, then you are going to need a heat shield, I suspect. I am pretty pretty much guarantee it. So I've got my heat shield, it's got 40 ablator, don't want too much, you don't need too much. Um, and also, once, you're, once you've taken off and you get to about 100 meters per second, it's also a good idea just to tilt ever so slightly to the right. That's just to start your rocket um, turning well, you're kind of starting a gravity turn, really. Um, it's just a good idea. Once you get to about 12,000 meters, then you can start tilting a bit further right, but you don't want to be too sharp with it, because if you turn too much to the right, then you're going to um, destabilize your rocket. Now, let's have a little look. 6,000 to 11,000 meters. We have achieved that contract, so we've hauled our chutes, and that is complete, I believe. Now all we need to do is get out of the atmosphere. Now, if I observe the materials bay here, I can actually get 17 and a half science. So I'm actually going to do that right now. Let's do a little crew report as well. Nope, there's nothing to be gained there. I'm going to start turning right now because it's over 12,000 meters. And we can observe a mystery goo. Nope, not going to do that. 1.6 science is nothing. All right, we got good speed. We've got good altitude. We don't want to be turning too far to the right because we are going to destabilize and spin out of control. Now, obviously, the higher up into the Kerbin atmosphere or, yeah, and further away from the surface of Kerbin you get, the lower the amount of atmosphere and the lower amount of lower the amount of drag on your rocket. Now, I think I should be turning a bit further right here. And let's take a look on our map. How high are we going to get? Yes, easily enough to achieve our contract. So, we might as well turn all the way right with the remaining fuel we have. And brilliant. Now, if we fast forward, we're going to be reaching our apoapsis, which currently says about 119,000 meters. Sweet. There we go. We're out of the atmosphere. We've escaped the atmosphere and we've achieved our goal. Now, we don't want to lose this opportunity to get some science. So, five science is gained there. From the mystery goo, what can we get? Ten science. Can we do the other one as well? Or is that just a... Waste of time. We can get another 10 science. We might as well do that while we're up here. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, cool. 119,000 meters. We're reaching our apoapsis and we're going to begin our descent now. I'm slightly worried that uh, we're not going to have enough. Oh, we're going to be going too fast. Let me just decouple this stage. We don't need that anymore. Now, in order to make your heat shield most effective, you want to be pointing it retrograde. If you look at the nav ball down there, we're over the green circle with the cross through it. Um, yeah, and we're plummeting nicely. Jebediah, it's a shame I can't EVA you. I'm sure you would love it. What's your view like? Oh, you can see the stars. The first time the Rheinstein's Kerbal Space Agency has escaped the atmosphere. How exciting. Yay! All right, let's start speeding up as we plummet. We should start encountering the heating aspect of re-entry into Kerbin any second now. I can't remember exactly what height it is. I'm hoping we're not going in at too steep an angle as well. There we go, we're starting to heat up now. So, let's see what effect that has on our ablator. It's not having any effect. Oh, there it is. It's reducing it slightly. I'm wondering if we're going way too fast here. Perhaps we need a shallower angle to come in at. You never know, we might be lucky. We might be lucky. Come on, Ablator. Looks like we don't need anywhere near this amount of Ablator. It's hardly using anything, and we're slowing down nicely. 
And Jebediah is piloting this like a pro. Go on, son. Alright, we can use our drogue chutes now, so let's deploy them. They're not as strong as the other parachutes, but they do give you some sort of um, slowing down effect. Now, oh, look at that. 1700 meters up and we're slowed down to 28 meters per second so now we're slow enough to open our secondary proper parachutes and look at that we're going to be plummeting head first not exactly how i wanted it but never mind we can we can tilt there if we want to but we can control our rocket slightly all right down we go this is going to be a slow descent now we'll probably be able to eva jebediah once we get back down to the surface look at me on the nav ball going crazy here uh, once we're down into the water, we can probably EVA Jebediah get a bit more science. Go on, son. 500 meters up. And we're falling. Falling. What do you think the best way to enter the water is? There could be sharks. There's probably better, like, point in retrograde, isn't it? That looks quite stable. Yeah. All right, Jeb. Don't worry, mate. 250 meters. You are the first Kerbinaut of the RKSA to escape the atmosphere. How does it feel, Jebediah? Well, uh, it feels rather fine. I'm, I'm, I'm so proud. I just want to thank my family for supporting me on this time. Blah, blah, blah. Here we go. We have touched down. Jebediah, you are a hero. Let's EVA you. Oh, no. You've tilted over the rocket. You're going to drown. Get back in. God, Jebediah. There we go. Mission complete. That was successful as anything. I didn't quite know if it was going to be, but it was. Nonetheless, we now have 71 science. That's a huge boost to our research. And 422,000 Kerbal credits. Sweet. Let's see what we can unlock with all this. We can get stability. So aerodynamic nose cones, winglets, and radial decouplers. I think that would be a damn good idea. Let's research that. That takes 18 science. Then we can get some more basic science stuff. We can get temperature thermometer, some batteries communitron radiator panels or do we go for flight control or advanced rocketry <gasps> with the terrier liquid fuel engine oh the decision decisions i kind of like going for the science stuff because then i get more research points from the thermometer and stuff so yeah i'm gonna unlock that and so that was two more contracts completed let's take a look at our archives look at that we've now done nine contracts i think that's nine yep What's available? Haul the Mark 55 Thud liquid fuel engine into flight above Kerbin. That's easy. We can do that one for sure. All right, we'll do that next. Or oh, and test the heat shield in flight over Kerbin. Wow, we need to be going well fast. 2,080 meters per second. I don't even think we have the uh, technology to go that fast. So not going to do that one. Uh test the BACC Thumper solid fuel booster in flight over Kerbin. Nah, I think we're getting too ambitious here. Let's go to our vehicle assembly building and try and build a rocket to complete this next contract. So have the Mark 55 Thud liquid fuel engine. Alright, let's just start... What should we go with? We should go with... All of that that we have there. Actually, I don't think we need the mystery goo anymore. So we'll remove a bit of weight and a bit of expense. What is the thud? Ah, it's this little bad boy. Oh, that's a bit worrying. It says experimental with asterisks next to it. Ooh. All right, well, that's obviously going to need a fuel tank. So we need to get to 5,000 meters. Um, let's maybe take two just to be sure. And two of these. Now, these have got a really high thrust to weight uh, ratio, uh, really high thrust. So our thrust to weight ratio, I suggest, is quite high at the moment. But there's no way of telling if this is going to work. Let's just go straight to Lodge and see if it works. But we just better not turn up our thrust too high. Jebediah, you are once again entrusted with this mission. Ready? Away we go. Yeah, look at that. They're quite powerful. That's quite a nice little rocket, actually. It's quite cute looking. All right, now we've now still got our science junior. Can we get science from that? Not really. All right. Um, I wonder if we maybe we should tilt over to the water and then observe the um, Science Junior once we're in the water. Now, normally I wouldn't do a burn like this, uh, but we're not trying to do a gravity turn, so it's not a big deal. I just want to get into the water. Now we need to make sure we're going a bit faster. 
and we need to get to 5,000 meters. Okay, I think we can do this. Let's just slow down our rockets a little bit. Check our uh, materials bay. Still nothing. 5,000 meters, you say. There we go, we've done it. All right, let's cut our fuel. I don't even need know if I need to jettison all this. I might be able to recover all these parts because we've got quite a lot of parachutes here. So I'm going to move my uh, decoupler and use my drogue chutes. Here we go. That's worked. Now you might be able to hear a little bit of whimpering. My little dog Rocky's sleeping and he always goes riff, 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 when he's dreaming. Apologies for that if you can hear it. Um, there we go. Drogue chutes are working nicely. Um, yeah, we're going to test the materials bay once we're in the water. I don't think there's any crew reports. We've because oh, there is another three point five science. Cool. Ah, that's a bit of a bonus. And let's open up our next shoots when we're a bit lower, like so. And that should easily reduce our speed enough to bring in this whole assembly down to the ground. Yeah, between six and seven meters per second. Good, good. Look at that. You can see the moon in the background. Jebediah, mate, you are proving to be a hell of a legend. Now, you know what I'm going to use on this uh, career mode as well? I'm going to use Kerbal Alarm Clock to try and get better transfer windows uh, for outer, you know, the the off-planet missions where we're going to Duna and Drez and stuff like that. That might be a good thing to use. I've not really used it before. There we go. We have touchdown. And we should be able to get some observations of the materials. Yes, we can. Another 10 science. Brilliant. So now let's recover our vessel and see what that does to our funds and science. We've now got 23 science, 447,000 funds. Wow, this is like easy money. Um, so 23.6. Ah, that's nowhere near enough. We need 45 for the next stage of research. Okay, not to worry. We can tackle that in the next episode. Thank you for joining me. I hope uh, you're enjoying the playthrough, maybe learning something. Who knows? If you want to suggest anything to me feel free to get in touch via the comments uh please leave a like subscribe if you haven't already and have a great day i'll see you in a couple of days time Bye bye